from the JDS is on the phone line with me. Mr. Ahmed, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Mr. Ahmed, you know, uh, asking protesters and farmers to actually take law and order into their ha hands to protest against the police, that is not the essence of a democracy. Do you agree? Uh, certainly not. But if, if the police is not allowing the poor farmers to enter into the city and to protest, it is their, their uh, democratic right. Why should the police stop them? Why should the administration come into the... See, I'm neither supporting what D.K. Shukumar did, but it also raises the question, why is the state government so rattled? Why is the national government so rattled? The farmers do have a legitimate demand, and let's, 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 uh, whether it is Congress, JDL, BJP, but Mr. Ahmed, do have but, democratic right to protest. But Mr. Ahmed, the point is that it is the job of the state administration, it is the job of the ruling party to ensure that there is law and order. When before the protest, a reaction like this comes, uh, telling people, inciting them almost to uh, pick up ranks against the police. Is that not unlawful? It is certainly unlawful. It is certainly unlawful. And what D.K. Shukumar says, it is unlawful. But blocking the farmers of this country to come and protest, which is their democratic right, is also unlawful. You can't really make uh, the, the two wrongs uh, equals to one right No. It, it, uh, I, I, I urge uh, Edurapa, who claims to be the farmer's uh, uh, supporter, uh, who should yeah. definitely not do this. And also we all know that Dikesh Kumar is doing only to make his political relevant. But mm. so be it. But absolutely, uh, Edurapa and his government and his administration absolutely yeah. to block the farmers to come from the city, which is their democratic right to protest. All right. All right, Mr. Ahmed, uh, we, uh, thank you very much for joining us with your point of view. Well, of course, the focus this morning continues to be on the crucial 10th round of talks between the centre and the Kisan Union representatives. The meeting, which is being held at the Vigyan Bhavan, is being watched closely for signs of a breakthrough. The talks also come a day after the Supreme Court appointed panel respond, proposed to hold negotiations on the 21st of January with farmer unions that are spearheading the protest. Now, meanwhile, the top court will be hearing the Delhi police's plea on the proposed tractor rally by farmers on Republic Day.